Hello, I'm Chef Melissa and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're preparing pasta with sardines, known in Sicilian dialect as pasta culisarde. In Sicily, the dish is in season between March to September when the main ingredients, wild fennel and sardines, are in season. From town to town in Sicily, the way this dish is prepared varies significantly. Today I'm preparing my adaptation, which is how I present it in my restaurants. I'm going to start the dish today by oven roasting the tomatoes. I've cut some cherry tomatoes in half, and I have some salt, some sea salt from Sicily. I have some sugar, and I have some olive oil, which I will be tossing with the cherry tomatoes. Just a touch of sugar. This is just meant to sweeten the cherry tomatoes, since they're a little off season still. And the olive oil. Um, just make sure that the tomatoes are well coated with all the ingredients. There we are. And I'm putting that right in the oven. Now we're going to soak the golden raisins with some sweet pasito, which is a Sicilian dessert wine. Well, now we are preparing the wild fennel, uh, which is an ingredient in Sicily that you would normally have fresh for this dish. I also like to add a touch of Sicilian oregano. Although it's not so traditional in the dish, I find it adds a nice flavor uh, profile. So to do so, I start taking off the fennel seeds and putting them in my mortar and pestle. You could also do this in a spice grinder, but it's quite easy to crush inside a mortar and pestle. I also add fresh fennel to the sauce so that the combination of fennel and the dried wild fennel mimic the authentic Sicilian flavors. And later we'll put this in the sauce. Breadcrumbs are a very important component to this dish. I'm starting with some day old bread that I've ripped into pieces. Started to let it dry, air dry. Then I put some salt, sea salt and some olive oil just drizzled on. I leave them in the oven to toast for about 20 minutes. Make sure to set a timer or you could easily forget them and burn them in the oven. So I toss them with the olive oil and the salt and now I'll place them in the oven. I'm going to start the sauce now. I've chopped up some onion and some fennel, nice and fine. And I'll be sauteing both of them with a little olive oil and some garlic that I turned into a paste. It's one clove of garlic. It shouldn't be overwhelming. It should just be a complement to the dish. the clove of garlic crushed into a paste. I'll saute here on a medium flame for about 10 minutes and then we'll add some other ingredients. As we saute the fennel and onion, let's get those bread crumbs going. Perfect. Okay, everything is nicely toasted. All right, let's take this to the food processor. While the sauce is simmering, we're going to make the breadcrumbs. The first step is to take the bread that we just toasted and put it in the food processor. We then add the garlic that I've crushed and preserved in some olive oil. The Sicilian dried oregano. Some Sicilian dried thyme, all Sicilian ingredients, of course. And the Parmigiano Reggiano, which could also be used, substituted with pecorino. 
and a touch of our family olive oil. You know they're done when you hear the food processor chopping smoothly. Oh, look, they look beautiful. The last step will be to toast these again so that the garlic is cooked before we use them to top the pasta. The next step is to encrust the sardine fillets with the breadcrumb mixture. So I take them with my hands very simply and just crust them with the breadcrumbs. Here we are, it should look like that. So we have here the fennel and onion, perfectly golden. The flavors will be nice and enhanced in the dish of the fennel. And I'm going to add the sardines, about three quarters of what I have in the dish here. There we are. Raise my flame a little bit here, but not too much. I need to make sure that the sardines, the skin of the sardines actually don't stick to the bottom of the, of the pan. So we're on a medium flame and just incorporating the fennel, onion, garlic, and sardines here. We'll let them cook for about not even five minutes, just until the pink of the flesh goes away, it turns white, and we'll know that they're cooked through. Mmm, and there's that beautiful smell. Love the smell of sardines. Reminds me of standing at the port in Sicily. Okay, and now that the sardines change color, they're cooked through, you, you can actually break them very easily with, with the wooden spoon. Now that we've reached that stage and they're just starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, is when I'll deglaze with the white wine. So I move the pan for a moment off the flame. We don't want to start any fires here. And we just put a little bit, about one cup of white wine. Bringing it back to the flame now. The heat can go up just a little bit to evaporate the wine. And the acidity in the wine is a nice component to the dish as well. It helps break down some of the fattiness and fishiness of the sardines. So I have the oven dried tomatoes here, um, a very non-traditional ingredient for this dish. I like to add the color, the acidity of the cherry tomatoes, and the reason I oven dry them is because I want them to be as concentrated in flavor. So, so I'm going to add those to the sauce at this point. Just add all of them. So now I'm going to add my saffron, which adds a nice delicate flavor and also a beautiful color to the dish. Also going to add my pine nuts, which I toasted lightly earlier. We have the wild fennel and oregano that we just crushed. And the raisin soaking in the pasito. Now I try to take away the sweet liquor, but it's okay if a little bit gets in there. It'll add a pleasant sweetness to the dish. Very nice. Oh, that's smelling great. And here we have the tomato sauce, which I'm only putting about a cup and a half. The next step is to toast the breadcrumbs. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is just to toast them a little bit more. The bread's already toasted, but just to toast and incorporate the cheese and the garlic and to cook the garlic. I'll do this for about one minute. Meanwhile, I'll get that pasta going. I have some fresh bucatini here that we prepared this morning at Pastai. Of course, in salted water. Okay. 
And as the cheese melts into the breadcrumbs, the smell is just overwhelmingly good. And the garlic as well. Hmm. That's how you know it. they're ready. And at this stage, I remove the bucatini and place them in the sauce. As you see, they've cooked for less than a minute. And I will finish the cooking process in the sauce so that the pasta itself absorbs the sauce into it and will be much more luscious and delicious. Just tossing those bucatini in the sauce. Mm. And the final step in this dish is to sear the breaded sardines. So, using a little extra virgin olive oil. I take this non-stick pan and get it nice and hot. cook very fast so you can turn them over after about a minute and we're ready to plate the dish now the pasta with the, sar the breaded sardines. And to garnish the dish, I have the breadcrumbs. I also have some fennel pollen to crush between my fingers while putting it on top of the plate. Some pine nuts for the side. I have some saffron threads, which look pretty as well along the Adding some color to the side of the plate. And some fennel fronds. And the last, last thing is a little drizzle of a fine extra virgin olive oil. And there we are. And remember that 10 different Sicilian grandmas will make this in 10 different ways. Today we made my adaptation of the dish. And I really thank you for watching Tasting Sicily with Chef Melissa.